even on treatment, there's still a chance that HIV could affect your brain or central nervous system, and that has implications for your mental health. Joining me from Cape Town via Zoom is Professor John Joska from UCT's HIV Mental Health Research Unit. John, thanks very much for joining us today. How does HIV affect your brain or central nervous system? The brains of people with HIV may be affected directly by the virus or indirectly through psychological and social effects of living with HIV. We, we've known for some time now that while HIV uh, infects mainly the white blood cells known as CD4 lymphocytes, these cells may enter the brain quite early after someone gets infected. And what may happen then is a chain of events driven by infection and slow inflammation of the brain tissue. So in the days before ARVs, these people would develop AIDS with all of the symptoms and signs as well as a syndrome uh, known as HIV encephalopathy, which is an acute confusional state. But fortunately these days, uh, this is quite rare. And so what more uh, often happens is a slow and gradual loss of brain tissue due to the inflammation before the person starts their ARVs. John, if you take antiretroviral treatment, does it make it harder for HIV to get to your brain? In other words, does it cause less inflammation? So ARVs are absolutely crucial to brain health in HIV infection. And when taken regularly, they will result in the clearance and suppression of HIV from all body compartments, even the closed environment of the brain. So when the brain tissue is clear of HIV, then the cycle of events leading to this inflammation that I spoke about and the brain tissue damage is essentially halted. And these brains, to all intents and purposes, are returned to normal apart from any damage that might have occurred before the ARVs were started. Now, if you look at the ARVs, are there any side effects that could possibly also impact on your mental health or affect your brain? So again, just to emphasize uh, and to begin with that taking ARVs is overwhelmingly better for brain health than not taking them. But we have been studying the neurologic effects of the ARVs ever since they've been used. And some of them are known to cause side effects to the brain and the nervous system. For example, the drug efavirenz, which until recently was a common component of our national triple therapy regimen, may cause sleep changes, nightmares, depression, and anxiety, especially in the first few months of treatment. There's also been a question mark around whether efavirenz may impact cognitive functions. Uh, and in our group in Cape Town, we have done some research on efavirenz, and we think that it, people who take it are more likely to perform poorly on cognitive testing than people who don't have HIV infection. So, the program nationally has switched from the Favrin's ARV to the Dolutegravir ARV, and we think this is a major advantage for brain health. To get back to the effects that HIV has on your brain, is there any medication, psychiatric medication, that can be taken to counter this? It is possible that people may experience a change in their mood or have high levels of anxiety or, in fact, have cognitive symptoms such as poor memory. And they should report this to their clinician, who might be a nurse or a doctor. And then the first step would be to ensure that they are suppressed. The second might be to consider switching an ARV. So if they're on efavirenz, for example, to switch them to dolutegravir. And then if clinical symptoms of depression or anxiety are persistent, then one might consider using psychotropic medications such as antidepressants, or to refer the person to a psychotherapist or a counselor to receive the care that they need. And also just to say that uh, we know that alcohol and substance use problems are very common, uh, both in the general population, but of course also in people with HIV. So it's important to address uh, that uh, mental disorder as well. John Jaska, thanks very much for joining us today. You're very welcome, thank you. That was John Joska. He's the head of UCT's HIV Mental Health Research Unit. After the break, we talk to a psychologist about the effects of stigma on someone's mental health. Stay with us.